This is episode number 889 of the Inner Fight Podcast. This week, I bring you the Open is Closed, and I have a guest, Andy. How was it? CrossFit Open 2024. Uh, I mean, like every year, mate, super simple. Well, I say super simple workouts, um, but three weeks of uh, controlled chaos. <laughs> uh, people um, losing their shit a little bit. <laughs> Some really cool moments, but yeah, I mean, just three weeks of exactly what the Open should be, right? Let's jump to workout one, named 24.1, very simple, low barrier to entry, easy movements, easy to set up. It has the perfect recipe to start what I guess traditionally we know as the Open, which is just a really easy workout. Yeah, I mean, it. it I, I think they were really smart in terms of putting something together that required very little setup. Um, easy to manage within gyms and you know everyone looked at that workout and felt like yeah I can I can actually take part in this whether or not it's at the foundation level at the scale level or at RX mm. and probably what ended up happening is a lot of people decided to do an RX workout which they normally wouldn't mm-hmm. um, I also think what it is cool with it is because it's a low skill it actually re- rewarded those people who consistently come in and have built a capacity to do some work yeah but they actually sat quite high up on the leaderboard for a change that's all the workout was about right it was snatch dumbbell snatch and burpees yeah 90 reps of each 90 reps of each yeah so basically just testing your ability to as you said mate to work hard and i guess to suffer for around about eight minutes <laughs> yeah i think that was like the biggest thing watching across how people did is that the people who did really well are actually people who can go into that place where they're going to suffer a little bit where it's hard and stay there moving on to workout two what was it uh that was the deadlift sorry the rowing the deadlifts and the double unders i think a 20 minute amrap 20 minute amrap so we've gone from quite a short super intense workout to a longer workout 20 minutes yeah that was savage (laughs) uh i think more so because people forget they get excited obviously and they forget it's a 20 minute amrap yeah and they go out all out yeah looking for the same feeling they felt in 24.1 yeah and they find it within two minutes and you just watch people's pacing drop off on the rowers you watch their they did their first set of double unders unbroken. <laughs> Next minute, they're doing threes and twos. But again, what was super cool about that workout is that even someone who can only string together one or two double unders yeah. still did that workout RX yeah, because good. they had time to do them. And also, mate, the scale version of it was straightforward. Again, three quite simple movements, skipping, deadlift, and row. So with two workouts in, really inclusive and then the final workout, as I guess traditionally we're used to in the Open, has always really been a version of one of the most famous CrossFit workouts, Fran, yep. which involves pull-ups and thrusters with a nice twist. Yeah, I mean, I said to Vic the night before, I said 100% it's going to be some form of pull-up mm. and a thruster. They're like, without those in the Open, it's not the it's Open. It's not the Open, right. And I think, again, really cool with this that... The whole idea with the openness is also should push people to be better. Yes. They allowed people to be inclusive. They allowed them to can come in and do 10 thrusters and then try fight for chest bars if they have them. And for a lot of people, I think they've walked away wanting to be better as a result. That's where I was going to go, mate. What are the two biggest things that people can take from it? I think appreciate the work that they've done. You know, it, it's super cool where you have some of the top athletes on the floor and in the workouts where it's just capacity to work, you're not too far behind. But then what we really saw in workout three is skills pay. You watch our guys downstairs, suddenly there's no longer a one-minute gap, there's a five-minute gap yeah. because they are good at their skills. And I think it should inspire people to want to work on those basics. There's a lot of inspiration, mate, isn't it? From simple workouts, less anxiety around those workouts. As you said, some super high-energy workouts, organized chaos. But I don't think it's the first year that I've seen three workouts put together that no one's really put off participating which is good no and I, I think you know they did them really well in terms of that there wasn't you know no one was still sore come the next workout the yeah. first two should have gone harder yeah <laughs> the first two there was a little bit of same same in terms of jumping and hinging yeah but the first one was so light and basic anyway it didn't really matter had they done the deadlift and burpee one from i think it was 2023 that would have been savage 
Um, but yeah, I think they, they put it together really well and it sets the scene for the next stage. Absolutely, mate. We will come back in a few weeks with the next stage. We've got quarterfinals, we've got semifinals. If people haven't made it, I think the ones that participated in the Open should take a lot of confidence of what they did and go back to what you said. Work on your capacity through showing up often and keep the skills in mind because skills, pull-ups, chest to bars, the ability to do thrusters fast, double-unders kind of separates things as well. Yeah, 100%. Like, you know, just... Keep coming in, show up, try to be a better version of yourself every single day mm. and just enjoy your workouts. That's what the Open should be about. Amazing. That is the Open. It is now closed. We will update with the next stages, quarterfinals, semifinals, and then, as you heard at the start of the year, it's all leading into the CrossFit Games, which is in August this year. Thanks a lot. Cheers.